everything everywhere all at once we're here for the movie my name is iman i'm linus and we're excited this yeah. has been a long time coming we've been every day we've been literally going online on amazon and being is it ready is it here is it secret yeah, and then there's these people that have been reacting to it for weeks. Yeah, I don't, I, I know. Because they like, got a pirated version straight out of the theater. Yeah, I wasn't sure about that. So we are very excited to get into this. Um, you can find the full timer reaction to this movie on Patreon. The links are down in the description box below. I've heard a lot of good things. I heard it's a very emotional movie and it just looked beautiful. You know, the, the trailer, the trailer just looked like wow this is an original piece of work we just watched the northmen that was fantastic beautiful the visuals were amazing the story was amazing all right we're just gonna jump in let's mm -hmm. do it see that's a good realistic portrayal of like a family home yeah so she's obviously very stressed Oh my god. Hi, Evelyn. Mrs. Wong. Hey, Mom. I only cook enough food for three people. Now I have to cook more. <laughs> the <zombie laughs> Asian mom is so, it's so true. All immigrant mommies are the same. I'm not the only one calling him he. I mean her, him, I. Loki. Loki. What the hell? Hey. How can I help? Hold on, I can't hear you. Just hold on. Jen. Jennifer, okay, yeah, I'm here to pick up some Jenny like Slate. Okay, give me your ticket. Mm. Jenny Slate. You. No, I have the ticket. She's just asking for it because that's like the way that it works. They don't need mine. <laughs> Sorry, it was too crowded here, so I moved some upstairs. I think the clothes are happier there. Man, they, so it's very, it's like very disorganized. See, they're happier here. The eyes, the this googly is eyes. My trouble did the Google eyes box. Yeah, I. No more Google eyes. <laughs> I fight, I fight, I fight for all of us. What? Every day, the back of here. Wait, what? Oh my god. <laughs> this is me with my grand grandparents. Not speaking Farsi. Joy, wait, please. So I have rude. something to say to you. You are getting fat. Oh, Gosh. That's such a horrible thing. She, she, that's her way of showing she cares. Yeah. That don't, like, she doesn't know how else. Yeah. See, she was like, just, it was a really difficult thing for her. But she was stressed out and worried about all of this. And then she made that comment, just like trying to show, like, concern or something. But it's very. Sometimes it feels it like you can't as... do anything right. Everything's mm -hmm. just falling apart. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wow. Part one. Oh, everything, everywhere. Yeah. And then all at once. So he keeps, yeah, he keeps like completely changing. Come on. You may be in grave danger. Pay attention. <laughs> when we leave this elevator, you can either turn left towards your scheduled audit appointment, or you can turn right and go into the janitor's closet. <laughs> it's like so the Matrix. Me. Oh wow. I'm sorry, it's a girl. The moment you're situated in your meeting, follow these instructions. <laughs> That's so interesting. It's like the game of life. You choose this option, mm -hmm. you get this consequence. Mm -hmm. This it's um I like how they did branching. that. Branching. That was incredible. Mm -hmm. That whole sequence. Mm -hmm. I was just hoping that you could explain this. 
Yeah, just change it up. Be weird. This is definitely Wizard and Oz. God, how fucking awesome would that be? Oh, wow. It, it's like Doctor Strange, too. I'm not your husband, and he's not the one you know. I'm another version of him from another life path, another universe. I'm here because we need your help. <laughs> Do you see this? Those look like something else. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what they're doing. They're shafting you. With every passing moment, you feel you might have missed your chance to make something of your life. Every disappointment has led you here hmm. to this moment. Hmm. Do you think this is funny? God. You know when it is time to fight. Oh my god. God damn. Oh. What was on her forehead? I it's don't like know. It's like the mark of the beast. You know? Uh, I know. It's really uh, horrible because it's, so... it's like a lot of um, foreigners, I mean, not foreigners, just people who don't speak mm -hmm. fluent English just get taken advantage of. It's already hard enough for English speakers, fluent English speakers, mm -hmm. to deal with this bullshit. And I feel like they get off on it too, what? like the abuse. So you know about this? Oh no. Oh my god. Was you like you was in the elevator? No, he is trying to divorce <laughs> her. No, no, he I'm knows a no, <laughs> you're getting it all wrong. I'm confused. Wrong. He was showing her the divorce papers, and she thought he meant the, what the writing on the back of the paper. Oh! You told me to do a phone consulting and IRS agent. Oh no! An IRS agent. <laughs> Oh, so I guess you were right. I was completely wrong. Oh Why are they God. acting like they're dangerous? Well, because that's what they do. That's just what they do. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's making me like, like, like... Oh! Ooh, you know that hurt. That sounded like painful. <laughs> Out. <laughs> Fucking holy shit! <laughs> oh. I mean, these guys are not trained for this, like at all. Yeah. Why would they even keep trying? Yeah. I was gonna shoot up. <laughs> <laughs> no. What is this? Don't tell me he's gonna eat it. It's even heavier now. Oh. Oh no, Chris! <laughs> <laughs> I can either come with me and live up to your ultimate potential, mm. or lie here and live with the consequences. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love this. This is a great movie. I mean, even we're not even like halfway. I know. I know. We're because just starting. She's lived her life like this housewife we, and mom, and yeah. and never to her fullest potential. Oh, so it's just going to be awesome to see her growth. No. Let me assure you, Father. Just like the rest of your miserable lives, this is nothing more than a. Is that her daughter? Are you okay? Hey. Are you okay? So she's like always built the villain somehow? This is what I am from. The alpha verse. Uh, the first universe the to make contact with the others. You can call me Alpha Wayman. It may be our only chance of getting out of your life. Ah, uh, uh, 
why it's like you have to choose something. <laughs> Maybe it's like his like totem like, thing, you know. Oh what? Like, totem, you know, totem? from Inception. But it's like chewing something. Yeah. Oh my god, she is scary. <laughs> It is like the Matrix, which, you know, like, they're, they're, <laughs> they're just it not is, attached. Yeah. You know. It is. And hey, I know that. He, he's a Persian comedian. I follow him. Ah. Ooh. She's going to have to do something. Oh. oh. Oh my god. Evelyn, can you hear me? You're gonna have to first jump. First jump. I just, you know, I'm such a big Matrix fan. It's just mm -hmm. him up in the office. Yeah, right. And, and she just, no, yeah. that, was an, an, yeah. that was an homage where she was like. I, yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. Congratulations, complete. Profess your love. This <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Exactly. <laughs> the next best pants, I'll break your own arm or take a nap. I'm not sleepy, are you? Oh my god. Hello, Q. <laughs> <laughs> you have to believe it. Yeah. yeah. This doesn't make any sense. It's an emergency. What makes it down You always get pulled away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> you better say it and mean it. <sighs> wow. Oh my I'm god. I'm getting all the chills. That's so fucking cool. Mm, she there's throws different them off versions. the balcony. <laughs> well, there's different yeah. versions. Oh, she's in Crouching Tiger. Yeah. And Dragon. <laughs> I need to watch that movie and I will react to it. I've never seen it. It's so amazing. I love that movie. Wow. I mean, is it? Is, is this like the, almost like the actress's actual life, M Michelle Yeoh? Because she is like this famous. Mm -hmm. It is. Uh, yeah, whoa, right. That it is, is so cool. <laughs> Look, this movie is freaking crazy. Fuck yeah. Tapped into who you are. Oh, bye bye. Oh my god. <laughs> Experiences every world at the same exact time. Huh? That sounds like it would be great. No, it wouldn't. What does she want? No one knows. All we know is she's looking for you. The metaphors in this. Hey. Uh, she can't fall for the temptation. dapper in this universe. <laughs> yeah, a nice suit and a haircut is all it takes. <laughs> wow. In that realm, she's like a slave, a prisoner. What, in Kung Fu world? Yeah, she's a prisoner to her, like, success. To her discipline. To, yeah. And her... You're not supposed to see this, sir. What? Joy? <laughs> Why do you look so stupid? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
I don't see what's so bad about her. Oh. Um. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you created a month. She's like, it's amazing. You're the reason my daughter doesn't call anymore. Why she thinks she's gay. Oh my god. <laughs> You're still hung up on the fact that I like girls in this world. Right. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's a great point. <laughs> like, oh my god. Oh my god. What is this? <laughs> she appears to be in a uh. oh <laughs> I used to do this Open with up. my friends. <laughs> you look inside. It was supposed to be like a vagina or something. Mm. I don't know what we were doing in elementary school. Mm. I got bored one day when I put everything on a bagel. <laughs> Whoa. The grandpa? Yeah. What? Okay. That whole ba everything bagel. I don't, you know how it said part one, everything? Mm -hmm. I think it's just going to be, there's no other parts. Mm -hmm. It's just everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can do things you normally cannot do. That movie. Okay, what are you talking about? The Matrix. You know the one with the chef. Oh, that's And then this raccoon sit on his head. Raccoon. Hey, I almost had it. You are already under her spell. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> you created Jobu Tapake. When did he get so good in English? Now I must stop you. This is an important Just movie like for parents to watch. You know, I think she looks a lot like my mom. Yeah. She has similar, yeah. Huh? What the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she has to do different, like, crazy, wacky stuff. What? Uh, clean up in there, all right? <laughs> they were listening to this song while... <laughs> what? Find your jumping pads. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I thought he was taking a shit. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Oh my god. No, not the dog! <laughs> <laughs> Is it a Pomeranian? Yeah. Ooh. 
Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh my god, no. Please, please, no, 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 no. Ah! <laughs> Why does he just hit him with it? Mom, just blow on his nose. What? Yeah, or like lick his face. He's gonna jump oh, on it. Oh, oh, he's got. Oh my lord Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh my god. Like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is something she's never done before. Right. <laughs> Man, this is trippy. <sighs> No! Are they in love in this universe? I want you. No! Uh, uh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, see, okay. So Damn, I was wrong. I was so, I thought I was so brilliant, but I was like. Enough with your tricks. What? I know you're in there. Whoa. Get out of okay. my She still Mama, doesn't realize it's her. I'm the one who's going to defeat you. <laughs> okay. Hit me. No, you can't hit her. You have to, like, hold her. I wasn't looking for you so I could kill you. I was just looking for someone who could see what I see. But don't you see the, the googly eyes? The reverse symbol. I mean, everything matters. You have left me no option but to authorize the seizure of your personal and your business assets. It's, I mean, at least letting it out. For once. <laughs> yeah. But there's grass right there. Come on. to destroy myself at least this way and i don't have to do it alone can we can we just stop fighting you saw go this is a very cold world we are in the house we are all in the house this is what i i know you're all fighting because you're scared and confused i'm confused too all day I don't know what the heck is going on, but somehow it feels like it's all my fault. I understand that you're not a liar. I'm not a liar. It's just that we choose the way we choose. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, 
he was just trying to make people, make the mood lighter. Don't stop playing. I like that they have this version of her because she won't accept her daughter being a lesbian. There is always something to love. Even in a stupid, stupid universe where we have hot dogs for fingers. <laughs> Oh. oh my god. That's so amazing. <laughs> I'm learning to fight like you. Mm. It's just the message of Jesus. Yeah. I hate saying it. <laughs> yeah, but it is. Just be kind yeah. to one another. There's also that passage or something. He who will lay his life down for a friend. Mm -hmm. Turn the other cheek. <laughs> this is his joy. <laughs> Man, I was I was thinking earlier like of Mormons back from uh, my childhood, and I was like, I wonder if they'd watch this movie and what they'd think oh, about yeah. it. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> Rekha Kuna taught me so much. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know. I <laughs> Let's go rescue your silly raccoon. Please, please, please. What's up? Hey. What's up? It's only a matter of time before everything balances itself. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You but she turned out to be stubborn, aimless, a mess, just like a man. Shandia, Titi. This is Becky, a joy. I'm tired. I don't want to hurt anymore, and for some reason when I'm with you, it just... It just hurts the both of us. Wait. You are getting fat, and you never call me, even though we have a family plan. You only visit when you need something. Now, of all the places I could be, why would I want to be here with you? It doesn't make sense. Evelyn. Let her finish. I will always want to be here with you. You could be anything, anywhere. Here, all we get are a few specks of time where any of this actually makes any sense. Then I will cherish these few specks of time. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> I'm 14. <laughs> Grab my hand! Aww. Oh, God. What a 
did he say? <laughs> to grow your hair. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's now a part of the family, mm -hmm. so she talks to her like that. No. <laughs> no. No. Things are better. This is this is a, an improvement, and I'm I'm glad that you listened. Evelyn. Did you hear me? Sorry. What did you say? Ah. <sighs> 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 I mean, there's, let's leave it on. Mm. I want 
wanted to say that, but it doesn't matter. Powerful movie. <sighs> Absolutely. Just amazing. I really genuinely one of the, probably one of the best movies I've ever seen. Like, yeah. I I'm, it's I just never had any any form of art or media especially just visual all the visuals and the, the feelings. Yeah. I've never had anything make me feel so many things all, all at once. All at once. <laughs> Yeah, so um, and right next to each other, you know, like hap just I wanted to laugh and Yeah. Cry. Just cry and <sighs> Yeah. I mean I never felt anger. Mm -hmm. not, never not once. A little bit in the beginning with Jamie Lee Curtis's character being like a jerk to them. The yeah, IRS, yeah. I mean, um, I, would, I guess the, I did feel I, I do, anger, frustration yeah. and anger yeah. with the whole. I mean, it's just like that with. But it was uh, there. It was like a fleeting moment of anger. It wasn't. It was probably the least amount of like feeling I had. And uh -huh. Everything else was more on the positive note. And just so much wonder and awe mm -hmm. about it too. I mean, that's the beauty about movies. That's mm. what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to work with the visuals, work with the music, work mm -hmm. with the acting, work with the colors, everything, and to bring out these emotions. Yeah. Because we are, all of us, a lot, uh, most of us keep all these emotions inside. That's why there's mm -hmm. these, the media and music is supposed to help us. Because as humans, we're supposed to do weird stuff like weird Put yeah we're supposed to we're supposed feet. to be spontaneous yeah, but and, no you're not we're, we're trapped not. in our own loops yeah and we can't break out of it yeah but I, I i really relate to like the whole there's specks of goodness you know m life is a mess <laughs> mm -hmm. but there's these specks of happiness and maybe for me i have you know less of those moments I'm more all I'm mostly like stressed because of just my upbringing that's it I always have like a fear fearful mm -hmm. pain I don't have a big smile on my face all the time but it doesn't mean I don't love you guys or my my family or my friends I'm just in a perpetual state of pain mm -hmm. and but then there's those moments especially with the boys like they just, you know, bring out these moments of like laughter that the kids do that. They help you break the mold. Mm -hmm. They bring mm -hmm. out these like, Revisit. bring you back down to reality. Revisit your own mm -hmm. child inside of you. Mm -hmm. Or just remember things that you've completely forgotten. Yeah. It was beautiful. Mm. Yeah, I've never cried like that from. No, this has it was like more of a release. Mm -hmm. This is cathartic. Yeah, yeah, cathartic. Uh, very cathartic. Yeah, I love uh, this movie so much. <laughs> there's so many things there a about lot. it, like the fact that the one is not some. You know how they always do it. Something, someone with some fabled, yeah. you know, like past. Yeah. And all the marks of greatness, or you know, some kind of. Oh uh, yeah, you're Hero, right. you know, that's and that she's she bad at everything. Yeah, she's a <laughs> she's a mother, and yeah. she's just stressed out all the time. Yeah. I mean, there and is she, contrast with Neo though, mm -hmm. because Neo is like. A very bland person in yeah. the Matrix as well. Or he's and, he could be any guy. He's working in a cubicle. Well, and he comes in to the Oracle and he's like, I'm not really the one. And she tells him, no, you're not. Mm, yeah. But it's not until he realizes it on his own that, and that's what I think about the Matrix, is not, there isn't just one singular, the one. 
We oh, all yeah. are capable of being the one. Everyone's important to the story. That's the whole point. Like the husband, mm -hmm. he was very important. Without, and sadly, a lot of the time, people like that get like forgotten or ignored. Mm -hmm. But he was the light, the kindness, the patience, the the heart. I and feel like that's part of the the message of Jesus too. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm the last. I'm the last. Yeah, I am the last person <laughs> to bring the shit up. I know, <laughs> but I. Funny. I just mean he's not saying like I just feel like uh, that whole thing where that message. He's not yeah. like he's not saying I am God. He's no. saying we're all God. We are all one. Mm -hmm. You know we are. Uh, love is God. We are love. That's what you know. That kind of thing. And, you know, anyone can attain heaven. But. Yeah, because life is what you make it. And life is very hard. And, and that's something I realized is there is a lot of suffering on this earth. And then it's a lot of it is in our minds. And, you know, I'm like watching Stranger Things. And so like I have a very similar feeling watching it because it's really talking about how the mind works and being stuck in your darkness and depression and but you need to get out of that and um you need to yeah there's just a thing it's just life can be beautiful but if you're stuck under bills and ob obligations and Oh, I also have to fit into this mold. Oh, my father hates me. Mm -hmm. I can't, I'm not good enough. Oh, I, my daughter is, I'm losing my daughter. I'm losing my son. I'm trying to keep my marriage together. I'm trying to keep friendships alive. I'm trying, mm -hmm. who am I? It's just, it's so, how do you jump into the wacky, silly place? <laughs> Yeah. And not end it. Not even that. Just how do you get keep your head above water and yeah. be passionate about things and just enjoy things, see things for the first time, mm -hmm. not getting stuck in like this is my life, like this is how I survive, this is how I make so, it. Yeah, survival. You know? Yeah. And how there's just no other way, but there's all these other possibilities. You could be anyone. it's so easy to get stuck mm -hmm. back into that because i i mean you see me mm -hmm. right we see each other we'll both have like moments of happy like and we're out of our darkness our depression yeah. and all of a sudden it's like there's a wall up again you know it's sad and that, i think that's another thing like people leave each other because we're told this fed this lie that like there's the grass is greener but it's the same thing it's all we're all complicated humans and everyone's working through some sort of trauma or pain and obviously yeah there are people that are more right for you or compatible mm -hmm. but um there it, it's not about i mean it depends on what kind of relationship you want some people might just want the the fun aspects but mm -hmm. if you want real love like that, like long lasting, it's very tough. It's actually hard, but it's so, it's, it's the benefits outweigh the, um, the benefits outweigh mm -hmm. them. I don't know. There's more benefits lo when long-term safe relationships rather than flings mm -hmm. because you're building something and then two people can bring, bring about more uh, power supporting one another it's just not easy it's not and not every day is, is gonna be good mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah I, you know that i just think you know they talk there's a big obviously it's about relationships with your children relationships with your your own parents relationships with yourself relationship with your significant mm -hmm. other yeah. And how all of that works. And, um, yeah, I mean. Remember the father that's, was, you know, the actual father, not the one in the 
alternate universe, mm -hmm. in the Alpha universe. He is like trying to, he stops everyone. They're trying to attack, attack Evelyn. And he said, I wake up and every, and nothing makes any sense all day. And I think it's my fault or something like that. That's how he said that. Mm-hmm. And he was, and I, I started to get really sad when he, like, I started to tear up, and that then it transitioned into like their life and everything, and it got super emotional. Mm. And I, I just felt because the way it was so, like, he was saying it as it applied to this crazy thing that they were just experiencing, you know. But his words were describing life, like. How, just how it is in life to wake up nothing makes any sense or you're just confused all day because everything is just chaotic and yeah. you have to do stuff yeah and you have to like pay your yeah. bills and get by yeah. and clean up and you know it's just like that and then you think it's your fault because of the way things are but a lot of time you know we've made choices but it's not like we made choices that were our own choices. We were forced to make decisions yeah. or do things. Yeah, well, yeah, most of us. Yeah. Yeah. And then we and get that, mad at each other because, mm -hmm. and then we want to put the blame on each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And everyone is fighting, you know, and everyone's just like fighting because they're all confused. Yeah. And they're. Yeah. It's easier to fight than it is to love one another. It really yeah. is. That's why I always say that. And like, I'm trying so hard, but when I tell you, when I get in that car, I hate everybody. I hate everyone with a passion. I just want, I, I just can't. Deal. Well, I mean, if people were uh, actually like <laughs> a, a, abiding and like no, I, in friend, yeah. rather than being aggressive, and it would be different. You know, if you wanted to merge and they were like, okay, I'll slow no, down. No, I know, but it's just funny because I'll know? sit here speaking like words of, we need to be love one another. And then I get in the car and I'm like, a, different human being but i it is it's it's so much easier to hate someone mm -hmm. than it is to love them you you can find their flaws much yeah. easier and judge them um yeah i mean this movie is so it's very important and when you brought up like your mormon friends watching this i was thinking of my family too mm -hmm. like they're very christian i don't know if they would like it there's it's obviously there's uncomfortable stuff yeah in this. but i don't i don't know how you could ever watch this movie and not have a an emotional reaction of, yeah you know have some kind of well this is the because thing. it speak it's got to speak to like everybody universally but with people the, are scared of different stuff so those some people mm -hmm. might see this as like oh that's esoteric the well, yeah. new age mm -hmm demonic stuff and and that's hard to get out of that mindset really. well it's definitely a, it's not an impossibility because i well, the, to be there. I, the <laughs> ideas they're talking yeah. about are more uh, spiritually advanced or kind of like but it's very you know, it, but it's simple it's, be kind, it's total yeah yeah be kind and love one another i mean the part that i'm saying message, i was just yeah. talk to speak to a lot of the people that are in, in those sort of very fundamentalist religions because they you know, it the sa it's the same story, just in a different, yeah. you know, with a different narrative. How yeah. it always is with these movies, where it's the the one, mm -hmm. you know, or the savior, mm -hmm. some kind of thing like that. Yeah. So I think, it would, yeah, I mean, it is funny though. Like, there are things in it that are, like, yeah. I, I I think they would just laugh at it though. Like. You would hope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I think. You know, don't take anything too serious either. It's just, I think, we we, we we limit our own selves anyways. And I think that's why sometimes with religion, organized religion, it's easier to, like, sit in your box. And in a lot of ways, a lot of people in organized religion think outside of the box because they believe in another, mm -hmm. other, um, an afterlife. They believe in God. They believe in miracles. They believe in all kinds. And then there's... So that's at least something beautiful. Like, that's... They kind of are opening their minds. Mm -hmm. Rather than... There's atheists who are like, I question everything. 
everything and everything. I cannot think any. And like, so it's like everyone has like a limit, a limitation well, I mean, on their atheists own. Atheists aren't, a true atheist is not someone who questions very much. Well, I'm not even, <laughs> yeah, I, and I'm, again, that's I mean, categorizing. They, they, they've, people, they've already but... answered the question with a no. Yeah. Right. So they are not going to be able to. Then... They're not, they're, they're not as skeptical. I mean, they're more resolutely opposed. To what? Just any, uh, anything more like a yeah. divinity that's of any so kind. Dangerous. I think that's very dangerous too. I mean, the whole premise. I, it depends. There's all different kinds. Just because you're an atheist doesn't mean you abide by all all these I know, rules. No, no, I know? agree. I know because I, I wouldn't. I'm not. I'm, you know, I'm very open. I believe in Jesus. I like. I believe in his teachings. Follow that. I believe in the God. I don't know exactly. I, I have mm -hmm. a Christian background. But, um, but then I believe in a bunch of other things, like, you know, I'm, I'm learning what's, what fits and what's like helpful. If it doesn't, if it's not about being kind and, and it's about separating mm -hmm. people, then I don't believe in it. If it's anything that's divisive in any way, it's like, this isn't what God wants anyways, in my opinion. But the, the whole, the answer is accept e each other at their, at, at where we are. Mm -hmm. we're all trying to get through this life all of us and we're all struggling and and there's no right answer other than just try to be a little kind just try to be a little patient yeah i mean a little kindness goes a long way it does yeah i mean it will put people off guard just if you're friendly to strangers or just like oh i know nice ni nice to people it's kind of like off-putting Oh yeah, I mean yeah, it's not especially, easy. Especially in a place like Portland, where everyone has a stick up their ass and like <laughs> no one talks to each other at all. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> like almost ever. Yeah, I know. Yeah. God, this this was. It says, I just I was telling you I was like this movie is I think important for us to watch mm -hmm. right now. Like it was needed. Yeah. Necessary. Well, I think it's funny that. It, just we watched it and how we watched it like we we had i made that chicken and we made dinner right and we didn't even bother we didn't mean to do it but we were supposed to make rice or potatoes or something on the side and i just made chicken and nothing else yeah and i put it in the oven and we watched it and then we were starting to watch it and then loki got in that shit over there and knocked <laughs> a bunch of shit down like it fell everywhere yeah. <laughs> it was <a> noise yeah <laughs> Yeah, and then we got up and ate, and then... Yeah, we paused this to eat some chicken. And you got mad at me for taking pictures of the chicken. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, you got you got mad at me for taking pictures of the chicken and not taking pictures of you. <laughs> that's, because, <laughs> that's because you never take pictures of me at all. That's why I was like, I'm... And I, I never, like, dress up or anything, so I was just like, I'm sitting here... Maybe it would be nice if you took a picture of me. Yeah, I know. But yeah. I just think that's funny. You know, like, because you're like, I'm not going to. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not always going to be here. Well, it's true. It's cryptic, but. <laughs> I said, I'm not always going to be here. You're going to look at your phone and it's just like all like mushrooms and chicken and not me. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, I, the thing is, is I always take pictures of him. I'm always. Yeah. But I'm not. Pictures. I don't. I just don't. Like I explained to you, I, I know. You know, I know. It doesn't occur to me. I don't take pictures of my friends or myself with my friends or yeah people I know. I take pictures when I have a, an actual camera and I'm taking yeah. pictures of people. Yeah, yeah. I just like to I remember things in the moment. <laughs> Low key. Yeah, he's been going to town over here. He watched it with us. He's gonna get you. Wow, I, I there was a lot of things to say. I mean, it's such a big movie. There's a lot to. It's hard really... to pick apart. In yeah, one, it really in one is, sitting. especially after just. Especially when my mind is yeah. blown like this. Yeah. Like I'm literally. I feel uh, like buzz. You feel like you're buzzing. I feel well, like a little like, like my body is like. Mm. It's kind of like uh. I don't know. It's like one really long DMT trip. <laughs> You know, yeah. <laughs> I'm still like, I'm just like, I'm coming down from it still, yeah. you know, it's just 
this massive I want to rewatch this. One. I know I will. I was thinking of all the people. I was like, I want I need you to bring go to the movie theater. I need to bring my But then again, like do you want to watch this in the movie theater? I don't even know like I was it was good that I was here cuz oh, I in a movie theater, I don't yeah. know if I'd be able to like let go. Of yeah. That. Yeah. No, I'm and thankful it, we did it. Here. You know, it doesn't feel as familiar and stuff like but now, just like on a big screen. Yeah, I would love. To, I would love to go see it in the theater while we still can. It's still can. out. Yeah. Yeah. But like bringing my mom. Yeah. You know, just my parents. That would be crazy if my mom came. Mm. Just like we never do anything like that. That you know, it's the mother daughter thing is like a big one. Mm -hmm. I it's. I just kept thinking like God, it, it's not her fault. Yeah. Right. Thank God she finally said it to her daughter. Mm -hmm. It's not her fault. Just say it. Just it's. And I don't know why it's so hard for parents to just say I'm sorry. It's not like we're gonna be like, haha, I told you so. It's just all we want is just a validation. Like I didn't, I wasn't crazy growing up. Like this stuff did happen. And you know what? I'm a mom now too, and I've made my mistakes, and I'm learning. And I'm thank God it's not at the time where they're at the, her age. Mm -hmm. because that's like it's never too late but it is well like, i mean some parents and i think at some points in people's lives they're not they're not ready to see things or i know you but know maybe I they know. they don't even accept it within themselves and even realize it oh and i know until later later there's some point in time and they'll you talk to them and it seems to click or yeah. like they'll have a different re response mm -hmm. I know. I just, I thought, like, you know, in the beginning, I was like, all you have to do is hug her. Just hug your daughter. And, but what was important, I think, to say, because this is something that, and I'll be open, like, even with my oldest son, like, we both were learning at, to be mom and son. Like, I was very young, and he was um, very, you know, he's my first. So it's like learning how to, show love when I was not shown like physical touch like that's not a common in my in my household we don't hug or any of that so I was super cuddly and loving but then there is like that time period where I just was so stressed for a while and in my head and I didn't realize I was turning into the, like it's like the cycle is coming down to me and but it's been like the last couple of years when we moved out of my parents home and then you know everything's on my shoulders I'm taking care of my boys on my own and um, recently Sora I felt like so he had um, you know he has upset because he's smart he's a kid he knows mm -hmm. it's not like I you know I made mistakes and there was times where I was probably just absent up here just like you know like she's the daughter is like trying to get her mom's attention and I'm just trying to like Mm -hmm. I've got to take care of you. I'm at this, I got to do this. I got to do that, and um, then dealing with all my own trauma. But what is important is like the the mom trying to hold her, right? And it's like me. I'm showing. I'm here now. I'm here. I'm like I'm back to reality. I'm here. That's what I've been mm -hmm. showing him more. Mm -hmm. But it's his decision to come to me. That same with the daughter. The daughter left. He, she let her go. Mm -hmm. And that's all she wanted. Was just but she came back. Oh yeah. But she needed to see that her mom was willing to yeah. love her and let her, and but let her be her. Mm -hmm. And that's something I've seen with my son too. He's smiling at me more and wanting to you know excite. I don't know. It just made, yeah. It, so I, it's a beautiful thing and it's okay to say these things because we're all human and we all come from our own past. And we are all doing our best. I did my best with all the knowledge I had, and I keep learning. And I'm like humbled, at like, okay, yeah, I need to do this better. I need to do this better. And I'll make mistakes still, but it's like, it just feels like it's getting easier and easier. But this is just an important movie for for, yeah. for, for parents, for kids, for every anyone, everybody, everyone needed yeah. needs love. I mean, everyone has a, everyone has a mother. Yeah. Everyone has a you know, father, mm -hmm. even if they're not around, yeah. or who knows, yeah. you know, and like that's a thing too. Mm -hmm. So, I, I know. there are so many things about it that were <sighs> just so emotional for all these different reasons, like 
all, all the different metaphors you know the whole thing with the rocks yeah and how they did that yeah that was really like cool. and just to give it per, to give everything perspective you know and then just to talk about the how amazingly vast the universe is and how many worlds there are mm. and the fact that um like even these unconscious things these stones you know like they they somehow became animated with their spirits and mm. then the that her the daughter jumping off the cliff almost like committing suicide basically mm. and the mother like letting it happen but then going over after yeah and if there's something about all of this that like touched something in me that was not like it's not really ex I can't it's inexplicable how why or yeah. how it was so emotionally wrenching but it was yeah yeah it was just because it's like thinking of it's just everything I put everything in the movie really just all mm -hmm. these these ideas these thoughts and yeah I think the world that they don't fall in love or they don't they're too afraid to really go for it mm -hmm. that was sad i mean they're yeah it, it feels and they even did it with the cinematography all the the colors and mm -hmm. the um yeah just the palette mm -hmm. it felt much colder yeah stark you know they were successful mm -hmm. they were very successful and they had good lives but it felt it was lonely. Sterile and yeah. lonely and cold. Yeah. And like really hard to bear. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like this crazy familiarity. It's chaotic and like not ideal, but like they're all, they have a good, they have a life. Mm -hmm. And I mean, his just this felt like all of his quirks. Yes. You know, he's just a, a really eccentric, quirky, funny guy. He's so sweet. Yeah. Aww. And like he's yeah he's not the dapper, well dressed man in a suit who smokes cigarettes and yeah. makes a lot right. of money. Yeah. But. But he loves her. Yeah, but he's, he's a good father. He's quirky and very lovable. Yeah. And he might drive you crazy, but. I like that yeah. the googly eyes, like that mm -hmm. whole time with him trying to be to to make put a smile on their yeah. faces. Well, I got see, I got everything wrong. <laughs> In the movie, all my predictions and all of my insights, everything. Mom, I'm like, oh, this, like, some things like predicted a few seconds, of, but then that whole thing with the, the reverse symbol of the googly eye, mm. and I tried to mention it. I don't know if you caught it. I, I did. Was, yeah. I heard you. I said it multiple times. I made it. I really needed to. I know. I was trying to the movie. I'm right I was about like, this. I got it like this. <laughs> but, but yeah, the third eye. Yeah, the that googly was eye. A big one. I thought that scene was fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, it was. It's it's like funny, you know. It's really funny and quirky, but then at the same time, it's really deep, deep and powerful. Mm -hmm. Like her third eye is that she gets to see. I mean, she already sees all of the different realities, but she can. Yeah. She sees what really makes this person tick, like what they love or what they need. Yeah. Or, you know, what the one thing that they need most in life or the one thing that, which is yeah. what they love or what they would love to have. Or... What, what makes them feel lovable mm -hmm. and loved again and mm -hmm. happy and joy. Yeah, this is so important. Everybody deserves and needs love and to feel loved, to feel important. Mm -hmm. it's, it's important and so many people don't. And we are like taught like, to not give everybody that like same you can only give that attention to people who are like above you right. in some way mm -hmm. like i've never been like that i've never like since i was a kid i've always i i've, I've strayed from those types of people those that hierarchy like you know i think maybe because of my being on the spectrum mm -hmm. i just don't un i never understood it my brain works so much differently so for me i was just like like I'm weird I'm strange my brain is not it does not work this way and it I surely do not fit in and so my friends usually were people who were different too it's just and they're always the most caring kind people and I don't know where I'm going my brain is frying I'm tired now I feel so drained yeah I know <laughs> this was a lot 
seriously like it was such a thrill visually visually and story-wise um emotionally everything of every very much a roller coaster in every way Mm -hmm. but like at the same time it was extremely draining you know I, I really loved the part where, I, where she's the, her singer self. Mm-hmm. And I was like, this part's going to be beautiful. I just yeah. know it. And it was. And then the fighting. Mm-hmm. But what's interesting is, you know, we're all looking at these the fighting. Okay, that's the last thing I'll say. We're all looking at all the fighting. It's beautiful. It's awesome. Mm-hmm. And we're yeah. all like, yeah. And then all yeah. at the end, she gets so wrapped up in fighting. She, she almost kills her husband. Mm-hmm. She stabs him. And then mm-hmm. he's just like, we need to stop fighting. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm rooting for all this fighting too. Yeah. I, I, I know they did. They that. did do that to us. They it was very like meta of them. Yeah, yeah. Like, like the, yeah, go the, for Because at the beginning, remember, I was like with the whole thing in the fanny pack. Yeah. And I was like, holy fucking shit. Yeah. Like, this is awesome. Right. Well, but it. You it, know? it, it I, I want to get up and be like, like <laughs> cheer or yeah. something. Yeah. You know, it was so. I mean, it's so well done. The choreography mm-hmm. is yeah. incredible. It, it, it really was incredibly done and so like when you see it, it that's it's so entertaining and then they kind of got us at the end yeah. where it's like yeah you guys are cheering for violence right <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. emotionally devastate you <laughs> and play upon all your traumas and mm-hmm. longings yeah. it's hitting you again yeah no <laughs> so many times where I was like, I don't want to fucking cry again. Oh, baby. Yeah. No. I feel like I should save this for me now. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean you're com- well, comfortable like in the bed yeah. and all that. Mm-hmm. We should go. Yeah, we should. Mm-hmm. Well, guys, that was emotional. That was uh, powerful. It's... <sighs> it's important to cry. It's important to love. It's important to be vulnerable. Mm-hmm. Everybody should be. It's we really truly live once. This is our only time on this earth. And I, I mean, look, today was a hard day for me, and I was in a bitter, bitter place in my head, very dark, and you know, maybe not the nicest. I was prickly today. Well, yeah, we got, I mean, we got in some arguments today. (laughs) We did, yeah, we did. About, like, everything they were talking about. Yeah, and just the dishes and yeah, everything. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the thing. I mean, I think it's because it's, yeah, I mean, that's just the real, that's reality. So I, I, and then I think sometimes when you, you just get stuck in that place, and it's hard to show love and kindness, even yeah. to someone. I lo- I love you. I I care about you, but then, you know, we both do that. We just, like, whatever. Mm-hmm. But we shouldn't, you know. But it happens. It's just so. It's just sad. sad the sad state of hu- being a human, I guess. Part. I, don't know. I think part of it is being, uh, being a human being. I think the other part of it is uh, the way society is structured and the way yeah. our lives are completely different than they would have been if we were like a you know more natural tribal kind of mm-hmm. you know situation mm-hmm. I know. yeah it would be much different I, well yeah. yeah how can you have joy when you have to go to the irs and you're yeah, afraid you, of like getting uh, your assets seized or arrested or yeah and you gotta live ab- you gotta live above a, a laundromat because it just mm-hmm. makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 yeah. Like financial sense, and that's how you survive. Yeah. You know, it's God. And you got to be called down to work all the time. Yeah, and that's you know, then you've got people here who are living in the streets, homeless. It's tough to feel like, oh yeah, let's just be happy and laugh when you know when life is hard. So, if life, our society was built in a way that was which it could be, which is everyone is at least not worried about their bills or rent and stuff like that. And people, because mm-hmm. I think at that point, we don't, 
we won't need to get above each other when we realize oh hey where's there's room for all of us to be successful and succeed mm -hmm. and it, it's not outdoing the other but it's like what you you give and take give and take give and take give and take and that's what it is i'm living here you're living here everyone's happy i mean it sounds like a perfect world but i think it's a possibility it's just going to take a lot of damn work and that's the mm -hmm. thing nobody wants to do that everyone wants a fast fast um quick fix the, like the, the whole thing with nacho take the shortcuts you mm -hmm. cannot take shortcuts if you want true happiness or true she, success she's talking about nacho from uh, better call yeah. Saul. <laughs> 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 we can't just assume everyone who's gonna see this yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, true. that's true but yeah i just think yeah, nacho is a, a ch um, cholo kind of person i, 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 don't, know, I don't know what <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say that, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I mean it just. He started dealing with people who were in the yeah. meth business. Yeah, it just is a thing. Like, I think it's possible. It just takes everyone. Everyone has to get out of their comfort zone and get out of and shake it up, shake out what they think is the right thing, because clearly it's not. If ever, if if majority of people suffer. Then we're not all we're not winning if 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 you're winning but other people are suffering in that in this at the same time then we've lost because we're all mm -hmm. at this we're all the same we're all human and we're told at a young age nope you got to be better you got to be better you got there's no better just if you are a doctor and you like to heal and help people there can be as many of those as as possible and heal and help everyone and then you and you don't have to worry about but that's the thing that's what i think i said a lot of people like this um the way things are built and set up because they want to be the special people they want to have all that money they want to have the power well, it's a, they it's like it they like their their fast cars they like it's exploitative their big, big you know some stuff, like you know the whole structure of it it's some people some people have to lose in order for others to win it's just the way we have it built yeah and but that is not some the only way and some people are able to exploit the way it works and this how the system functions in order to get far more than they could ever acquire in any other situation than this unnatural completely fabricated system of uh you know of wealth and of um just of, of value or i don't know of trading your own time for labor mm -hmm. or t trading your own time or your labor for currency yeah. you know yeah it, yeah it's a it's not i mean it's just a we're talking about people becoming trillionaires in the next uh, like within the next decade yeah and i'm sure they yeah. don't want everybody to be they don't want to give up their their lifestyle for the you know for everyone to to be successful and that's the problem it's just with not power. even a, it's not even a lifestyle it's like a, a it's, an, it's like a, a it's a never-ending yes <laughs> it's a never-ending uh hunger it'll never stop yeah the wendigo yeah thing. yeah just watch that and supernatural yeah. Anyways, all right. Now we're, I don't know. We're, that's, I think we'll stop here. Mm hmm. Yeah. We're not, we're not calling for some like hippy dippy. What's, no. Like uprising. That is not what we are saying. So we shall say a, a disclaimer. We're not talking about any of that because I just don't know. Sometimes speech can be interpreted as dangerous. And this is not that at all. It's just. A thought and a conversation and it's okay for us to have these conversations and come to more of a better understanding because we do live in a world where there are so many different people and there is space for everybody and we should all be thinking about that and talking about it and trying to figure out how to like make things better especially for the our I mean, children and their children and their children's children's children and I just wish people would slow down a little. I mean, it's not a, a it's not a, it's not a radical idea that you know that maybe it's wrong that there are people who will freeze to death under a bridge 
next winter in the United States or die mm. from uh, exposure or, you know, mm. heat exhaustion yeah. because it's like it becomes 120, over 120 degrees in a yeah. city and there's no medical facilities or anything to no. treat these people, even if they had the money to be treated, you know, yeah. or the hospital, whatever. That's if that exists there and simultaneous to that, there's people who are on track to become trillionaires. Yeah. It is and we don't do up. anything about it's the first thing, thing. How does that make any sense? Yeah, It's broken. And it just goes. It, and, and, yeah. Saying. And I mean, it is because yeah. look, if you're that, if this is if, if this was the case, if you had all these all, if all these an infinite ar uh, array of alternative universes existed. Then you are, you are Elon Musk, and you're also Elon Musk under a fucking bridge, starving to death, or dying of exhaustion of uh, heat, you know, heat exhaustion or exposure, or whatever. Yeah, that's a good, yeah, great point. But I mean, and guess what? It could happen in the same lifetime. Mm -hmm. There's many people who are super wealthy and then became homeless addicted to drugs in the same life or just so you know, yeah i mean even if there are these other realms and all of that which i'd love to believe it is true but what we on our own plane at earth here that could be a that could be that could happen or you could die mm -hmm. no one is is immortal no you could I mean, people are dying and you will die and i will die. well that's the thing that uh, humanity has to accept is like yeah all of us that are alive right now eventually won't exist anymore yeah in this whatever in this form mm -hmm. you know and maybe that's kind of part of i think that's kind of part of what's driving this the crazy disparity of resources i think that a, a lot of these people that are way up there believe that they can somehow cheat death and yeah. achieve immortality somehow. That's what they're I think that is what you they're know, trying to do. And they do. think that amassing, it's going to come down to amassing an, an, just an insane amount of wealth. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's part of it. But yeah. That could be. Who knows? It's just not right. You can turn a blind eye to it, but you're not, you know, you're not doing the right thing, doing the wrong thing. You just can't, like you said, you can't have people dying in the streets and then you are a tr almost a trillionaire. That is absolutely vile. And because, <clears throat> I mean, up. theoretically, the, you made your money or you uh, accumulated that wealth as a consequence of living in the United States. Mm. Or, you know, it's not, if you tried to do the same thing in another country, it probably wouldn't have worked out so well. Mm. Or you wouldn't have acquired that much wealth. I don't know. The fact, I mean, it just, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching with us. And I, I don't know how long this is, like almost three hours probably. So we'll see how this is all cut down. Yeah. Good luck, Rick. <laughs> this is going to be probably the <laughs> biggest thing you've done i think um but this is a beautiful film mm -hmm. and, uh, i'm happy we watched it together i think that was very important and um yeah thank you to the creators the writers the actors the producers mm -hmm. everybody involved I mean, in really. this a24 this was one of the most beautiful pieces of art i've seen um yeah powerful. agreed very powerful. All right, guys. Um, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye, everybody.